Assalamualaikum, dear viewers. You understood that quite right. Dear viewers, inshallah today I will show you the vertex form. But I want before that I want to show you three equations. Alright. So my first equation for you is y is equals to 3x squared plus 12x minus 15. When you see this, this is the standard form. And um, I think I showed you this before, but let me just explain it to you real quick one more time. This is the standard form because 3 is our coefficient, 12 is our coefficient, and 15 is our constant. Now just from that, um, this is, here is x squared, this is x, and here is x to the power of 0. x is x to the power of 1. So from this, you can understand this is the standard form. Now I also showed you y is equals to, the, my other equation is y is equals to 3x plus 12. This is the slope-intercept form. Intercept form, and you can understand that because the formula here is actually y is equals to mx plus b. Here is our m, which is our slope. X plus b is our 12. Okay, and this third equation, y is equals to 3x plus 2 whole squared minus 8. This is a new equation. This is okay. Let me just show you this as this is our vertex form, which is what we will be focusing on in this video vertex oh come on sorry vertex four okay and um, now here are my two equations and we will focus on vertex form in this video so whatever value you see right here in our case this is minus eight whatever value you see here that is going to be your y so minus eight is our y here so that's Minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Minus 8 is this point. Now, <clears throat> inside our parentheses for our x, we need such a value that inside our parentheses it will equal to 0. So in this case, x plus 2. This should be 0, right? So x from this, you can understand, is minus 2. Because, yes, if you put minus 2 inside, then um, it will equal to 0, and then a y will come out as minus 8. So our x is minus 2. So minus 1, minus 2. Minus 2 is right here. This is our minus 2. So our basically, our point on this graph would be here. Yes, this is minus 2, minus 8. Now we need to be able to draw a graph. So what we want to do is actually create a table in which we will find all of the x values. Well, no, all, um, the x values that we want. So let's draw the table. It's going to be our x. This is going to be our y. Now we automatically know that um, when we are at minus 2, x is minus 2, then our y is minus 8. Now how about minus 1? If x is minus 1, then what is minus, what is our y value? So if you put minus 1 inside, I'm just going to do this. Minus 1 plus 2 is, two, is 1, right? And 1 squared is 1, and 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 minus 8. 3 minus 8, we should all know, is minus 5. So when x is minus 1, our y is minus 5. Let's just quickly graph that right here. When x is minus 1, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, it's going to be right here. So it's gonna, this is a point. This is the point of um, minus 1, minus 5. Now let's do another point. When x is, let's put 0. When x is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4, 
4 times 3 is 12, and 12 minus 8 is 4. So um, then our y will be 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. All the way up there, this is our 4. But our x value is 0, so I'm just going to write here 4. But our x value is 0, so our, so yeah, the point will be here. So now it's going to go somewhat like this, right? Now, um, let me just grab this. And it's going to go somewhat like that. Now, in our other video, I actually showed you guys that if it's a second degree term, then it will become a parabola. And it is a second degree term right there, as you can see. So this will become a parabola. How to uh, plot a graph from our vertex form. Remember, whatever value is right here, in our case, minus 8, whatever value is here, that will be your y. And you need such a value for the x inside the parentheses that that will um the, the result inside the parentheses will become zero in our case minus two now you can just simply write this out x plus or minus whatever that is equals to zero so what x is what right you can just figure that out from that and then you can plot them create a chart that shows other values which uh shows their x coordinate and also their y coordinate and figure that out from your equation then plot it right here and you have your graph now, I hope you all understood how to plot the vertex form. Thank you, and assalamu alaikum.